Hello children. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to do factorization of algebraic expression using identity 2. So first, let's revise what is identity 2. a minus b whole square is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square. Right? This is what we have learned in algebraic expression chapter. So how is identity 2 useful for factorization of algebraic expression? Let's write it reverse way. That is a square minus 2ab plus b square is equal to a minus b whole square. Right? That's what identity means, right? Left hand side is equal to right hand side. If you are given this, you can come up with this. Or if you are given this, you can write it like this. So if any ex algebraic expression is of this form, we can write as this, which is nothing but a into a minus b into a minus b which is product of its factors so if an algebraic expression of three terms are there we can write it as product of these two factors a minus b into a minus b so let's take an example and try to use identity 2 to, to factorize an algebraic expression of this form into this let's say we are given p square minus 14 p plus 49 before we apply identity 1 or 2 or 3, we should see if are we seeing squares. So here we can see p square and 49 is also a square. We know it's 7 square, right? So there is a possibility to use identity 1 or 2. And which one to use? Because there is a negative sign in another number because in identity 2, it is a square minus 2ab plus b square. Seems like identity 2 is possible. Let's see. So first step, what we do, we try to represent this number as squares, p square minus 14 into p, this one, plus 49 is written as 7 squares, right? So seems like identity 2, p is same as a and 7 is same as b. So here we are getting a square and here we are getting b square, right? And let's find out is minus 2ab in between or not. So we had p square minus 14p plus 49 which we have written as p square minus 14 into p plus 7 square. Now let's try to come up with factors for this term 14p which can be written as 2 into 7 into p right and using the commutative law we can rearrange the products here so we can write as 2 into p into 7 7 into p I have written as p into 7 and why is that so that it looks like a square minus 2ab plus b square. So here a is same as p and b is same as 7. So a square that is p square minus 2 into ab that is 2 into p into 7 plus b square right. So looks like identity 2 and what we can do now we can simplify it and write it as a minus b whole square and a is p here and b is 7 here so we can write p minus 7 whole square or p minus 7 into p minus 7 right so this expression of three terms is now broke factorized into one term having factor p minus 7 into p minus 7 or p minus 7 whole square right pretty simple Let's take another example, little bigger number, 121m square minus 88mn plus 16n square. Is identity 2 applicable? You can figure it out when you see a problem. Can you see whole squares here? 16 is 4 square, n square is also a square of n. 121 also we know it's 11 square and m square is m itself. So seems like identity 2 is possible this might be a square this might be b square this might be 2ab let's try to find out we factorize this number this term and this term like this 11 into 11 is 121 m into m m square is m into m 88 m into n we write it just like this way and 16 n square we write it as 4 into 4 into n into n right very simple 121 is written as 11 into 11 and 16 is written as 4 into 4 and n square is written as n into n here m square is also written as m into m now we can take the 
squares of it this became 11 square and this became m square you can actually skip this step also you can write directly write this step if you are familiar with squares so we can write 121 as 11 square m square as just m square 16 as 4 square and n square as n square and just 88 mn as minus 88 into m into n right pretty simple now you can using the power and exponent rules we can club these two together if you are given 11 square into m square it can be written as 11 m whole square right x square into y square is xy whole square so the, just the way we write 11 m whole square same way here 4 square n square we can write it as bracket 4 n bracket square right it's a the, this bracket bracket is representing this square is for 4 as well as for n so this can be written as this now it is looking like in terms of our a square minus 2ab plus b square so here a is 11m not just m 11m the entire thing which is square is a which is 11m and 4n is b right so a square is nothing but 11m whole square and b square is nothing but 4n whole square right and see let's find out is this 2ab so we have in our previous step we found out till here now let's find the common factor for this we can write 88 as 2 into 2 into 2 into 11 right 2 into 2 is 4 4 into 2 8 8 into 11 88 into m into n plus 4 n square right so here a is 11m 11m and b is 4n 2 into 2 into n right so we can reorder them using the commutative law just this term we can write it as 2 into 11 into m why did it why did i write here 2 into 11 into m because this is what will be your a so 2 into 11 into m into 2 into 2 into n just ensure all the numbers are or variables are there here it was 2 into 2 into 2 into 11 m into n here we write it as 2 into 11 into m and these 2 into 2 come came here and n here and now using identity 2 we can simplify and write it as a minus b whole square where a is 11 m and b is 4 n right so a minus b whole square so this algebraic expression of three terms is broken into 11m minus 4n whole square or 11m minus 4n into bracket 11m minus 4n right product of two factors very simple that's all in this lesson children bye bye